G'day guys, welcome back to another episode. This one's gonna be 48 hours in the Daintree. Here we are, we've just come across the ferry, rocked up into the Daintree rainforest and we've got a couple of cool days to show you. Explore it. I'm very excited because the bloody rainforest here is top notch. <laughs> so we are, where are we going? We're gonna stay in a little place called Cape Trip Beach House. A few cool spots, a couple of swimming holes and just chill out mate. So. 48 hours and we've got a little treat on the way back out. We might see a couple of uh, toothy critters that sort of inhabit the area up here. We've got 48 hours, so countdown starts now. <laughs> Righto guys, before we get going, we just wanna let you know that we did this trip with Expedia and we booked everything through the app. So working with them, we've now got a code for you guys to get a discount. What it is it? TRIP10 and that gets you 10% off selected hotels if you book by the end of the year. There you go. So download the app and use that. We'll put all the info in the video description. And um, travel in Australia, mate. That's what we're <laughs> all about, you know. Why would you bother yeah. spending big money on going overseas uh, when you can just find so many hidden gems like we're about to in this video and right on your back doorstep. <laughs> So once you get off the ferry and start making your way up to Cape Trim, you've got this windy section of road to uh, negotiate, right? So for me, it's not that bad because I'm the driver, but for everyone else, it, remember to try and take it easy and smooth because it can make even the uh, best car traveler car sick or motion sick. But it's a beautiful drive. If you slow down and enjoy it, there's a heap of lookouts along the way. And the rainforest and the scenery is just bloody fantastic. It's sort of something you don't really come across it anywhere else in the country. And it's um it's a really good drive. Hey look at The first stop in the Daintree, oh. mate, and what do you reckon? Oh my god, check huh? it out! What you know, a place to stop for lunch. You gotta slow down and look around, mate. I, I can't really tell you where this is because we didn't take much notice, but we've just found this little offshoot of a track and we have come down to Dead Set Paradise, only about 20 minutes from the ferry. What do you reckon, boys? You gonna go for a swim? Um, it's all good here. Look at this, clear fresh water, rapids, ah, oh, skimming rocks for the kids. We might just camp here, mate. Oh, if, we, if we had the swags, where are we? This is just, oh, the Daintree, hey? All right, so lunchtime. Um, what'd you bring us for lunch, dude? Well, I had all these intentions of doing like, you know, just the usual tuna, rice cakes, avocado and everything. But I forgot the number one tool and that is a bloody knife mm. to, do so, it, to spread it. Yeah. So what have we got? Loose balls. Loose balls for lunch. You beauty. Uh, oh well. The kids had saying is, how'd you put peanut butter on? <laughs> Finger. I was so glad you oh. went, <laughs> I was so glad you went looking up. Well, how'd you do it, Jack? How'd you put it on? I'm with the... Oh, I hope she waited to lick her finger before she finished making all the sandwiches. God, I'm gross. Oh. But when the kids are hungry. Oh, who cares? Look at this. Hey, what a spot to stop for lunch in the day tree. Well, I'll tell you, I hope you can find it yourself. Mm. Just gotta slow down and look around. Oh yeah. Okay, so where are you gonna Stop number two on our 48 hours in the Dane Tree is the ice cream shop. It is. Geez, we didn't make it far. No, we, only, we stopped for we lunch about <laughs> 10 minutes down the road, if that. Uh, and we're like, bang, ice cream. Let's it's, go. It's uh, early afternoon and I'm actually tonguing for <laughs> an ice cream. And I reckon the kids are gonna be loving us. Uh, so anyway, we'll go in. Hopefully they got rum and raisin, because as you all know, that's my bloody favourite. Let's get into it. Bring well, it. I tried it too, rum and raisin. Oh, since when? Oh, I, I tried, tried it. it before. Yeah. When I got a double ice cream. I'm over here! Hello. 
Oh, right here. Oh, look at this tiny rig. <laughs> oh, no, what's the verdict? Hey? Oh, look how much you've eaten. I haven't even had a try yet. Mm -hmm. Is it any good? Yeah, the mm -hmm. pink one's disgusting. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> pink, pink one's sour. both. They weren't loving the, the banana oh, one. Yeah. Yeah. I think the, is that the white one, the coconut one? I think so, yeah. yeah. Can I have a try? Yeah. Can you give me a spoonful, Jacka? Oh, look at this. Yeah, I'll get Here we go. So this little cup here, you get four flavours in one. And it was $7.50, my love. Mm. Oh, yum. That's why we got one. Mm. <laughs> Actually, the coconut one is good. Yeah. What's your favourite? My pink spoon. My um, favourite is banana. One. Banana. The white one. Mm. The white one is my favourite. The white one. So there's heaps of little cool rainforest walks around in the Daintree. We've just found a good one. It's on a road called Palm Road, and you just got to spot the little track on the side, and you can walk in but it's called palm road because look at this look at these palm leaves above us <laughs> what's happened to you mate Jesus <laughs> we're just doing a, a leisurely uh walk through the bush <laughs> Oh, you're right. Right. Got you hung up, mate. <laughs> Have a look at this. This is this stuff. It's just hanging out of the tree. Oh man, now that I look at it. Spiky as. Oh, you can't. <laughs> see if I can focus on that. I won't do it. It is spiky as. Look at that. Oh, there it is. Stop moving it. Wow. That's How's your head, mate? Good. <laughs> <laughs> Steer clear of that stuff. Right out. Here we go, we've made it. Three stops later, and we are at Cape Tribulation. Hello. Only 2.8 Ks, mate. We're there. Cape Trib Beach House, can't wait. Kids are pumped to be in a cabin tonight. Yeah. So are we. <laughs> it's going to be nice. Look out, Charles, it's coming for you. All right. It's a stick and stick or something. Here it is. Give us a look, babe. Can Open her up. Number four and <sighs> look at this. Let's find some lights. I don't know how to turn the lights on. Here we go. <laughs> so this is our little cabin, mate. Our little rainforest cabin. Yeah. Uh, it, we're on this side. There's another one on this side, so I'll spin it around. There's a big sort of communal area in the, in the middle. So it'd be sweet if you had some mates or something. You could get one each and you have your dinners and stuff out here and kick on. Uh, inside there's just like a queen bed, a trundle bed, and then a set of bunks up there with an ensuite and a fridge. The ensuite is fancy it's too. It's massive, yeah. yeah. Biggest shower we've ever oh, seen. Incredible. And it's only uh, literally across the road is the camp kitchen. So it's a community one where you can cook, communal. clean, mm. Um, store your food, do all that sort of stuff, and then, I don't know, a minute down the front there, you just walk through the rainforest walk, and you're at the pool, the bar, the bistro, the campfire, and the beach, so. Happy days, and you've also got some amenities here as well. But, there is, I mean, if you don't know, you've got them in yeah. your own cabin, but uh, that's it, Cape Trib. It's sort of, um, I'd call it sort of boutique-y budget rainforest camping. It's all you need, everything's here, it's do you know what perfect, I mean? Yeah. Mate. Yeah, so. Tonight, we're just going to chill. Tomorrow, um, coffee in the morning, down at the bar, I reckon. And then we've got a couple of swimming holes to hit, don't we? We do. A couple of lookouts and uh, just soak it in up here. It's just beautiful. It yeah. really is. A couple of hot tips we'll check out. And hopefully, I can find somebody to go fishing. We might, <laughs> I might throw a bit of a line around. But <laughs> the weather's a bit average, but we are in the rainforest, so it's living up to its name. So where are we going mate? Alright we're going to head down check out the bar and restaurant. There's a pool down here and this is where you access the beach. So we'll go and check that out. See what Cape Trib's all about. What kind of chip you got? I know. Macro. Yeah. Gluten free. And go alright though. I know they're quite nice. We always buy these ones. If you head down the front of Cape Trib Beach House you'll find all these cool trees on the beach that overhang the sand 
at high tide the water comes right up under here it's low tide at the moment but it's awesome for the kids mate they tear up and down the beach they can climb through these trees and then literally a little walk back up here and you're at the pool and the bar where you can grab breakfast lunch dinner and uh have a couple of cold ones too dinner time so we decided just to bring away a couple of microwave meals for tonight so justin's in the camp kitchen heating them up and i'm stuck with these three making sure they eat their dinner oh, but super easy i just make up a big batch of um spag bowl every now and again and freeze it just pop it in a ziploc bag and uh easy peasy just bring it away with us and then we can just heat it up in the microwave so happy days Full bellies, happy kids. Here he comes. Now watch out for that insect. <laughs> oh, look at that. There you go, my love. Oh my God. Tonight oh, that looks all right. Mediterranean polenta with uh, black mm. olives. And, and I'm doing a pose. Freshly steamed greens. Look at my pose. So Brecky we've had, mate. Now we're going. We're gonna go to the beach house or the restaurant for some coffee, and the kids want an early morning swim. So uh, <laughs> happy for the kids to swim. We'll sip on coffee, get started. I haven't quite woken up yet, and uh, we'll head out for the day. How is it, mate? <laughs> yeah, it's good. We we're just laughing because I was telling the Argentinian boy behind there how much I love my coffee, so I think he took extra special care. <laughs> so I was like, make sure you put in that extra shot. <laughs> yeah, look out, there's a coffee snob in the ranks. <laughs> anyway, really bad now. morning coffee, kids having a swim. And then uh, first stop is going to be which waterhole, mate? You know? Uh, I don't know yet. I'm going to go straight to the info centre is what I'm going to do. doing it the Magia boardwalk so they've just done a redevelopment for 2019 but it's 1.2 kilometers and it takes you out by the ocean over a few creeks and bridges and we're gonna do that and check it all out I don't think that I could find a better way to spend my time Well, you can't come to the Daintree and not hit Cape Tribulation Beach. This one is probably the prettiest beach we've found up here. So nice. Check it out. It's actually white sand, palm trees, rainforest, and the ocean. It's actually where the rainforest does actually meet the beach. It's pretty epic. <laughs> it is crazy. So, ah. Oh. So the first swimming hole for today is right behind Mason's Cafe, which is only five or ten minutes, if that, from Cape Trib Beach House. Uh, the info centre's there and the cafe's there. It opens at 10.30 in the morning, I think. And then you just yes. walk straight through the cafe down this little track here to Mason's Swimming Hole. So really easy access and um, we'll get down there and give you a look. I think Mum will be freaking out when she sees the castle. Oh, oh look at that, it's beautiful. Oh, Dad, Mum would freak out. out if she saw a castle area. Oh, there's even little stairs and everything, straight that down into the long. swimming hole. Dad, that wasn't long. It wasn't long. <laughs> that literally took us about 30 <laughs> seconds from the cafe to walk down here. And straight away there's like a heap of jungle perch in the water, palm fronds. There's some fish in the water. Oh, there's so many fish in the water, that bub. Look at that. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, look at the fish over here, guys. Look at them all. Is it quite free? This is nice, dear. Yeah, it's very pretty. Oh, 
God. Now, up here, mate, in the Daintree, it's known as where the rainforest meets the reef, isn't it? This is it, mate. Check it out. The literally. rainforest literally is just like falling onto the water there in the reef, and it's just amazing. It's pretty cool. Like, we haven't got the best weather, but when you get clear blue skies and blue oh, water... It is. That is just bliss. Ridiculous. It is. So, another couple of knowledge nuggets for you. So, the Daintree Rainforest is one of three of the largest and oldest ancient. rainforests in Australia. So, they're ancient, which is pretty cool, hey? So, you get to come and drive through it and check it all out yourself. Oh, there's that big swing. Yeah. Look, Chaz, oh, jump on this. <laughs> Ready, set, go. Crocodile, doesn't it? No, it's oh. that, that, that there. What is it? That there. Yeah, what's that? It's a tiger. Oh, it looks like coming down my nose. So, Hartley's mate, Crocodile Adventures. This is bloody so cool, good. hey? Like, really we've done, good. We've done a fair few croc sort of mm. adventures and it's tours around the country. One. This one is legit up close and personal. Yeah. You can go, we got here, There's um, check the times for the shows. They do a crock feeding show maybe every hour or every two hours. But we got here at 11, caught that first one. Really good, mate. They get right down there and they get them jumping out of the water eating dead chickens and fish and stuff. And then they've got their own boat. So they've cruised around in this man-made creek, Hartley Creek. And you get to see the bloody things jump out of the water right so, next to you. So, I absolutely loved it. Dad, look, there's a castle. Wow. This is Boris, guys. This is the dominant male of the lagoon. So he's the boss and the big boy. Oh, See? So they have a social hierarchy, guys. Generally, the bigger you are, the better. But Schizo gets her name mainly because of the fact that she's not overly concerned about the dominant male. As you see, she just had a crack at him herself. Young Ed, there's a lot of jaw pressure behind it. These guys have anywhere from four and a half to five thousand psi. So that's a lot of jaw power and it's the largest of any animal. So you can see it's a bit mutilated already. So Forest had started. He's keeps coming back. He loves it. He's gonna buy for it. He's gonna buy. Oh, he's gonna buy for it. He's gonna buy for it. No one's gonna have you guys because here comes Snappy Tom. So here's the second largest male of the lagoon. No, they see the forests are always having little cracks at each other. You can see Forrest's nose. Yeah, it's a bit, a bit of a mess. So they're naturally oh, aggressive. We got it. <laughs> All right, guys. Just gonna make sure that up there. Here we go. You 
watch that night there.